Welcome to the Ink Stitch Beginner Tutorial Series. In this part we are going to have a closer look which stitch types Ink Stitch is able to perform. We will not explain the stitch types in general, but only how to create them in Ink Stitch. Ink Stitch stitch types can be roughly divided into three sections, Stroke, Satin, and Fill. Here is a complete list so you can quickly navigate to the stitch type you are interested in. This is the tutorial about stroke type stitches. Stroke stitches can be used for outlines, line art embroidery, or to add details into your design. Zigzag stitches are easy to create. We recommend to use them only for straight lines because they will not stitch nicely around edges. In most cases, you would prefer a satin column instead. That said, let's see how they are done. Hit B to enable the Bezier Curve tool and draw a simple path. Open the Fill and Stroke setting and set the path width in the Stroke Style tab. This will define the height of your zigzag line. Go to Extensions, Ink Stitch, English, Params to open the Parameters dialog. Satin Stitch Along Path has to be enabled in the Stroke tab. Set zigzag spacing to wherever you like it to be. You can also define the number of repeats. All other settings will not have any effect on zigzag stitching. Running stitches are created in a similar way. But this time you have to set the stroke line style to a dashed line. Any type of dashes will do the job and stroke width is irrelevant. Create a path and open the params dialog. Satin Stitch Along Path has to be enabled in the Stroke tab. Settings can be applied for running stitch length and repeats. Bean Stitch creates thicker threading through back and forth repetition of running stitches. It almost works the same as running stitches. But you have to set additionally the bean stitch number of repeats. A value of 1 would triple each stitch because it goes forward, back, and forward again. A value of 2 would result in a quintupled stitch. In manual stitch mode, Ink Stitch will use each node of a path as a needle penetration point exactly as you place them. Create a path, line style and width are irrelevant. We recommend to display all nodes of the corresponding paths as corners since manual stitch will not respect BZA curves. Run params and enable manual stitch placement. 
All other settings will have no effect in manual stitch mode. Remember to also add tie-in and tie-off stitches since they are not created automatically in manual stitch mode. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and got a small overview about all stroke stitch types Ink Stitch is capable to perform. You might also want to watch our videos about satin columns and fill stitches.